Hi everyone, welcome back to Pause to Read. With this special holiday edition, we are going to be reading A Christmas Collie. It's written by Ted Paul and illustrated by Mary Crummer. This book comes to us at the request of the Midwest Collie Club, all the way in Michigan, who is celebrating their 90th anniversary this year. Congratulations from all of us here at the Museum of the Dog on your 90th anniversary, and we're excited to read this book that was illustrated by one of your members. We hope that everybody enjoys this special holiday pause to read. I remember a time not too long ago when the air turned cold and it started to snow. Our fireplace crackled, our home was alive, Christmas was coming, and I was just five. A Christmas like that in all its glory begins to record like a lifelong story to be held in the memory of those growing old until, like now, it begins to unfold. I've had a, I had been pretty good all year long, trying to do right and not to do wrong. I had cleaned my room, even helped with the dishes, cause a Christmas puppy topped all of my wishes. A kite or a train and are really great toys there are many neat things that attract small boys, but this year, amid tinsel and green boughs of holly, I hoped and I prayed I would get my own collie. On Christmas morning, I dashed to the stair. My pop sat smiling in front of his chair. My eye took in all the whole room at a glance. I was glued to the banister as if in a trance. For there, on his lap, sat my puppy for sure, a big red bow between two puffs of fur. With a squeal of excitement, I came racing down, and off my dad's lap, the puppy came with a bound. At the foot of the stairs, we met with delight. I need hardly say it was love at first sight. He jumped in my lap and licked my face, and I cuddled him close in a boy-dog embrace. I looked up through paws, tra wagging tail and fur. My mom and my dad, they were kind of a blur. Mom with her apron and dad with his tie were both dabbing something from under their eye. From that moment on, we were always together, summer and winter, in all kinds of weather. Words can't describe what it means to be a boy, to have a real pal instead of a toy. We both grew a lot in these early years, sharing laughter and joy and occasional tears. I remember the measles and the long stay in bed and my Toby right with me, my hand on his head. We, he watched me intently. His eyes seemed to say, come on, get well. It's time to go play. When I finally got up and he knew I was better, he was off in a flash to fetch me my sweater. Then he grabbed my jacket and raced for the door and back for my muffler, galoshes and more. And once outside, he went flying around. His antics were those of a furry clown. He would run right on past me and skid to a stop, then crouch like a rabbit, about ready to hop. The minute I moved, he'd bound off with a smile. We played like that for what seemed like a mile. Those early school years really tugged at my heart because five days each week we had to spend time apart. At first, Toby pouted and moved extra slow. In his way, he was asking, gosh, why can't I go? But soon, weekday mornings, that lovable fool would bounce on my bed and bark, time for school. After dressing in breakfast and mother's great fuss, my Toby would then see me down to the bus. I waved goodbye, riding off with my buddies, then tried to remember the coming day's studies. I know that he watched till we faded from view, then he trotted on home. He was part of dad's crew. He guarded the hen house, helped dad gather sheep, chased the crows from mom's garden. Then he'd doze off to sleep. But he'd keep one eye open as he lazed in the sun to watch for my school bus and be ready for fun. 
And when I returned later on in the day, an overjoyed collie was eager to play. Hiking or baseball, we went all the time, and work never phased him. He was right in his prime. He was a picture book collie, a real sight to see, but the years passed too quick, quickly for Toby and me. In no time, it seemed I was off to the war, and my aging, sad Toby saw me off at the door. I hugged him, blinked hard, then looked quickly away, for I knew at his age he could go any day. In the hard years that follow, my Toby passed on. He's in heaven, I know, herding sheep on God's lawn. And I have a family, a five-year-old boy. He's happy and healthy, an absolute joy. I have to stop writing, though, it's hard to believe, but I hear my son stirring, and it's late Christmas Eve. When he comes down the stairs, all I want him to see is his Toby the second, his mommy and me. The end. We hope you'd enjoyed this story about a dog that's gotten on Christmas Day and celebrated with his family for generations to come. Truly a wonderful story, and we'd like to congratulate the Midwest Collie Club once again on their 90th anniversary. Have a great day.